Hello and welcome to the BI WizKid YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me here today. We are looking at a concept called data masking. Now, as the title suggests, this is not raw level security, but still a really effective way to hide and mask data within your Power BI reports without having to implement a full raw level security data model. How easy is it? We'll find out right now. So hopefully you can see my screen. Uh, not raw level security, uh, data masking. Okay, uh, no, who am I? Okay, so what's the plan? So the scenario is that there's a sales director, okay? And he wants their salespeople to be able to log into Power BI and he wants to them to be on, only to be able to see their own data, right? So their own sales, their own profits, okay? But they also want them to see the sales and profits of other salespeople as well and without showing exactly who it is, okay? So, and this was, and this needs to be implemented without roll of security, because if you implement roll of security, you just see that person's data. You don't see anybody else's data because it's filtered down to you, but we want to show almost like a, a comparison of where you are compared to other sales piece and with people without giving away their sort of identity. So if not role level security, then how? Okay, so data masking. So it's where you strate strategically hide uh, values based on certain criteria. In this case, it's gonna be the logged in user. And it's the process of hiding sensitive data and uh, or personally identifiable uh, data in your, in your reports. Uh, now this particular solution that I'm going to show you now, it works when users have read only access to the report. So if they're editors, um, they can essentially sort of go into the report, download it and have a look in the background of the report, which sort of uh, goes against the, the security part of it. But this can then be coupled with RLS to make it a lot more secure, okay? Go to my, okay, I'll go to my Power BI screen, mate. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So this is going to be a blank, um, uh, just a blank report that I'm starting with, with. So recent sources, let's just pull in this sales example. So this is just a basic sales data set, um, all in one CSV. Uh, so I'm just going to pull this in and I'm going to start this whole sort of process from scratch just to show you um, how straightforward it, it can be. Uh, to get in there. Okay, so we've got our data set over here. We've got our salespeople here on the right hand side. Okay, so I'm just going to make some changes here. So I'm just going to replace a couple of salespeople. So I'm going to replace John with myself. So, okay, I want all John sales and I'll, I'll re replace all Stevens with mine as well because I want their sales. Okay, brilliant. So first thing's done, I've got my sales in there. So as a salesperson, I'm in uh, the report. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this column as a new query. So I want to create my uh, salesperson dimension. Uh, and I did this in sort of a, a different session um, last last season. Uh, but all we're doing here is getting a distinct list of the sales people by removing duplicates in here. So I can just call this name. So now you see I've got my mate Dave, Andy, Sheb, Matt and Alex in there. Okay, and that's my sort of distinct sales people. Now I'm going to add a, an index column. Okay. I'm just going to rename that to ID. Okay, and then I'm going to create another column, uh, but this would be something, uh, so I'll call this principal name. Um, this is going to be like the, the, the user principal name function that you get, so it'll be your sort of uh, logging name uh, as such. So in this case, I'm going to put my PC name, so that's vector 360 backslash, and then I'm going to add in my name like that. Okay. So then hopefully, oh, I need to put an ampersand in there. How many codes do we need to learn in here? DAX, Power Query, Encode. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our sort of login username, which, uh, which we, we can sort of pick up using um, uh, a sort of function, okay? So salesperson, uh, I'm just going to rename this to sales. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to join this back on to the existing or the new table that I created. So I could bring through the ID, join salesperson onto the salesperson using the name. We should have all matching, which we have. Okay. I'm going to bring through the ID. There. And then I'm going to remove 
salesperson. So put the ID in there, salesperson ID, joins onto the salesperson ID in here, gives me the user. Okay, first step. Uh, so we've got our data, data the, our salesperson dimension there, and we're going to start pulling this through. So we just want to see what sort of thing uh, we can get from here. Okay, so we've loaded in our date. Let's uh, get some basic data. Okay. So I'm going to get my sales date. Go to my port on day for the time being. I get my sales, get my profit, and then from the salesperson date, I'm going to go and get name. Okay. So at the moment, we can see everybody there, which is great. Okay. And that's that's as we sort of expected because we haven't done anything with it. Okay, now we're going to create a few measures now. So let's create a few measures. So let's create a, a username measure. Okay, now this will be the username that it's going to pick up from uh, the session. So we're going to say username equals uh, user principal name. Okay. So if I drag this onto here, card visual, you can see that that's picked up my username there like that. Okay. So next thing, now let's do uh, another measure. Now we're going to, what we're going to do here is just compare the logged in user against uh, the username that we've got uh, that we created in our uh, last step. So we're going to create a new measure here. Okay, and we're going to say, right, so who is the current user? So the current user is an if statement. So we're going to say if the sum of sales And the selected value of the principal name is equals to the user principal name. Then I want you to show the name. Which is going to be the selected value. And I'm going to type in name like that. Okay. So what this is doing is only showing the results where there's a transaction here. So this is what this part does. And then it's also looking at the principal name, comparing it to the logged in user to see if that's um, me or someone else. Okay. So now I'll take this table and I'll drag this value in. Okay. So now you can see that the current user, it's not giving me any values against anybody else other than myself here. OK, so we've started the process now. So we're already picking up sort of the data that we want. So now we can sort of see, OK, well, we've got a breakdown of data here from Alex and Andy, but we can't see his details in the current logged in user. We can only see sort of mine there. OK, so now we're getting down to the stage where we can filter it down and only show certain data. OK, so the next step is to create like a masked name. So this time we're going to create a new column. So we're going to create a, a new column here based on ID. So we're going to call this uh, masked username. Okay. And this time we're going to say salesperson SP dash and then we're going to join that on that with the the random ID that we create. So we give it a, an index ID, didn't we, in the, in the last session, in the last step? So we'll add that onto SP, which is salesperson. Okay. So if I add in the mask username in here now, so now I can see that I've masked that username with uh, a, another random sort of generated value there. Okay. So. What's the next step? So we can now hide these names. So I've got the name here. So I can right click and I can hide that name because I don't need it. And I can remove that from here as well. So now I can only see mine, but then I don't even need my current user in this um, because I'm in here like that. OK, so now I've logged in here and I can see uh, my details. I can see other people's details. Um, but then again, you know, I don't know exactly, you know, who I am. So who, which one am I? Um, now we did see before when we added in uh, the current user is that I'm sort of number three here. 
Yeah, so let's just put a quick filter in at the top here, just to show the mask username. Okay, and if I select number three, then those will all be me. And anybody else, all the other salespeople, I can see, but I don't know who they are, but I can see their sort of figures and compare them to mine, right? So let's try and make some better use of this then. Okay, so let's get a new visual down here. I'm going to get the master username. Okay, and I'm just going to grab the sales and put that in there. Okay, so I can see all the master usernames and I can see me, uh, number three, I'm way ahead of everyone else. Yeah. Okay, so let's create a couple more visuals just to compare. So what we can also do is then um, put in different categories as well um, and we can break it down into other ways. Uh, so if we this down here, have a little trend. Move the switch out of the way, we don't need it. Right, so let's break this down this time by category. Let's say, okay, well, let's break it down category and let's uh, bring in the sales, which we've already got. And we'll put it into a nice format like this. Okay, and the must username we put underneath, so when we drill down to the next level like this, we can then click on me and see exactly sort of where I come in sort of respect for everyone else. Okay, and a little trick down here, we can then combine the axes and say, okay, we'll turn the concatenate labels off and then sort this by category and mass username. And then within each category, I can then see where I stand against all the other sort of salespeople there. Yeah. So what else can we do? So then let's create a, a little matrix. Okay, so create a little matrix here. And let's put in the order date as a value there. And let's put in the masked username into the columns. And then let's put the sales into the values there. Okay, so now I've got some visuals on myself against other salespeople um, and if I filter down to my myself I can just see all my data throughout how I'm doing and if I want to compare it against any of these others I can chop and select those as well okay so but you know what if you don't know who, who this person is, who SP3 is, and you don't want to sort of go down that process of, of, of sort of finding finding out. You want you want your data to be clear, okay? So we can go a step further now, and we can add in some sort of highlight or almost like background uh, colouring, okay? So what we can do over here, if we go to uh, here and create a new column. Okay, I'm going to X out of that because I don't need a new column. I need a new measure. Okay, so I'm going to call this measure background color. Okay. And I'm going to say if not blank, and then I'm going to say the current user. Then I'm going to set that as pink. Otherwise, I'm going to set that as light gray. Okay. Something like that. So now, if I go over to my mass salesman username over here, I can go to my date colors. I can add in some conditional formatting. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my field value and I'm going to base this on background color. Click OK. And that highlights me there. Okay. And I'm going to go over to this one. I'm going to do the same thing. Change color scale based on a field value. And click OK. And that's me. And finally, I'm going to go into here. 
And then I'm going to go into sales, position format, background color here, based on the field value, background color, like that. So now I can see exactly where I am. Uh, I can see how I compare against everyone else. Okay. And I don't need to sort of select or figure out who I am. I know it's me because I'm the one that's highlighted in pink and I'm the one who's making the most profit. I'm the one who's selling the most <laughs> throughout the, the year. Um, so that's uh, a way of masking that data there. Okay. So now one thing I'm just going to change. I'm just going to show you one more thing here. Um, let me see who else I have got in my session. So if I go to my uh, table here, so you can see I've got my users, so I've got Matt. Okay, so if I change my user and I say, okay, I want to view this role as someone else. So I want to see it as Spectre-360. Slash Matt. Click OK. Now you'll see he's logged in and now the pink's changed and sort of automatically moved over to him because now Matt's logged in. As you can see, his details have come up here. And now the sales review, we're looking at everyone's uh, data compared to Matt uh, and he can only see, uh, know who he is and doesn't know who anyone else is. Okay, so that's a really simple way to apply data masking uh, to your report without role of security. Gives you a bit of security, gives you a bit of um, comparisons and you can do a lead table and other things as well uh, with that and pretty much every sales company or sales department that I've worked with over the uh, number of years you know need something like this so I'm hoping that you guys can make uh, some use out of that okay so there you have it not role level security with power bi data masking if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'll be releasing a lot more videos to come thanks for joining me See you soon.